Attack on Titan, 10 anime characters Mikasa would be friends with. Mikasa is one of the most layered characters in Attack on Titan and her friendship with Eren proves she can befriend anyone. Even from other anime. Eren's best friend and tentative love interest, Mikasa is the strongest scout in the 104th Training Corps and Eren's steadfast protector. Their relationship in Attack on Titan never truly turns romantic. But the feelings are there. Mikasa's close bond with Eren becomes particularly relevant in the final part of the series and she is actually forced to take a stance against him to prevent the rumbling. Even in spite of how much pain Eren has caused, Mikasa treasures their bond. Mikasa is one of the most layered characters in Attack on Titan and her friendship with Eren proves she can befriend anyone. Even from other anime. 10. Alice shares Mikasa's determination and noble heart. An inhabitant of the underworld, Sword Art Online's Alice Zuberg originally lives a simple, carefree life with her friends Kirito and Yujio. All that changes when she accidentally breaks a taboo, trespassing in the dark territory. She is arrested and taken to the administrator, who steals her memories and turns her into Alice Synthesis 30. As an integrity knight, Alice is a steadfast, noble, and determined warrior. After she realizes the administrator is manipulating her, she manages to break free of her conditioning through sheer willpower. She also has the courage to face the real world, where she is seen as an artificial life form. Mikasa goes through similar experiences, as her Ackerman bloodline genetically programs her to protect Eren. She overcomes this at great personal 9. Akame fights her corrupt government and someone she loves. A feared assassin and member of Night Raid, Akame seems cold and aloof at first. Her grueling training at the hands of the Empire has left her unable to properly express her emotions. Beyond her desire to topple the Empire, what Akame truly wants is to protect her friends. When her comrades die, she is grief-stricken, though she doesn't show it. Her demeanor is in a way quite similar to Mikasa's, who doesn't always show intense emotions. On the battlefield, the two are just as dangerous. Akame is definitely as deadly with her Murasame as Mikasa is with her ODM gear. They have both been forced into the unenviable position of having to fight their corrupt governments. Akame also has to fight her sister, who starts out as a Jaeger and a supporter of the Empire. This is reminiscent of Mikasa's conflict with Eren. 8. Yuji Itadori would remind Mikasa of a younger Eren. The protagonist of Jujutsu Kaisen, Yuji Itadori finds himself carrying a terrible burden, that of being Sukuna's host. He knows that, as a result, he will eventually be killed to destroy the King of Curses. Even so, he remains steadfast in his quest to become a great sorcerer and find Sukuna's fingers. He is not unlike a younger Eren, whose attack titan used to be just as difficult to handle. After being Eren's friend for so long, Mikasa would definitely understand Yuji and even want to befriend him. 7. Tuka Kirishima struggles with her monstrous inheritance. It's not easy being one of the children of Emer, even while not having the powers of an actual titan. It's just as difficult. If not more so, to be a ghoul. In Tokyo Ghoul, Tuka Kirishima struggles with her legacy each and every day. As a ghoul, she needs to eat human flesh to survive and she is considered a monster. She is constantly hunted by the CCG and has been forced to kill on numerous occasions, to defend, avenge, or simply because it was expected of her. Mikasa's situation is similar. The Eldians are thrust into constant war because of the crimes of their ancestors. Mikasa's life of danger, grief, and bloodshed stems from the hatred everyone else bestows upon her people. Both Mikasa and Tuka have to worry about their reckless friends slash love interests, Eren and Ken Kaniki respectively. Neither girls are too lucky in keeping them safe, though Tokyo Ghoul, 
Ri does give Tuka and Kaniki a better ending than Eren and Mikasa will ever have. 6. Colin Kazuki wishes to win freedom for her enslaved nation. One of the most iconic characters in Code Geass, Colin is Zero's Red Ace, his most trusted Black Knight. Her most important wish is to free Japan from Britannia. So she can honor the sacrifice of her dead brother. Colin has romantic feelings for Lelich, but in season 2 of the anime, she is willing to kill him for the good of the world. Colin fails, and the burden falls to Suzaku Kuroriji, as planned by Lelich himself. 5. Akatsuki's loyalty would echo Mikasa's desire to protect Eren. One of the most popular characters in Log Horizon, Akatsuki uses a tall, male avatar while playing the game Elder Tale. When all players are transported to the fantasy world of Feldesia, she is stuck in her chosen form. With Shiro's help, she manages to regain her true body, which earns Shiro her undying loyalty. An incredibly talented assassin and tracker, Akatsuki acts as Shiro's ninja and calls him her lord. She eventually develops romantic feelings for him. Despite her skills, she is quite insecure and stoic. Which gives her trouble in her interpersonal relationships. Still, she always remains by Shiro's side, and her loyalty would echo Mikasa's feelings for Eren and her desire to protect him. 4. Rem's Oni form is reminiscent of Mikasa's fiercest moments. When the Oni Rem first meets the protagonist of Ri, Zero, Natsuki Subaru, she is very distrustful of him. She senses the scent of the Witch of Envy on him. And because of this, kills him. But Natsuki manages to earn her trust after saving her from demon beasts at the cost of getting cursed. She falls in love with him, often protects him. And offers him moral support. The role she plays in his life is similar to Mikasa's relationship with Eren, and the outcome isn't much better. Rem and Natsuki are separated when her existence is wiped away from existence by gluttony. Deleting everyone's memories of her and putting her into a coma. When she finally awakens, she doesn't remember their bond. 3. Malim Nava is deceptively dangerous but really appreciates her friend. In that time I got reincarnated as a slime, Malim Nava is one of the oldest and more powerful demon lords. She seems childish and short-tempered, but in reality, she's very dangerous. Even so, Ramuru Tempest manages to become her first friend, something she treasures. Malim is mind-controlled by the demon lord Clayman. Much to Ramuru's distress. While Mikasa and Malim are very different, they could definitely be friends. Mikasa would know how to appreciate and respect Malim's true strength, and she would definitely not bore Malim. 2. Inaho Kezuka's intelligence makes him similar to Armin. The main character in Aldnoa.0, Inaho Kezuka, is a highly intelligent tactician essential in Earth's war against the Martian Ver Empire. He is also a skilled pilot, his cataphract and his genius turning him into a powerhouse on the battlefield. Injured in battle by slain Troyard, he receives a cybernetic eye implant that enhances his abilities but can take over his consciousness. However, he has trouble communicating, which can be a setback. In many ways, Inaho is similar to Arnim. Arnim's main skills are also tactical in nature, and he becomes the colossal titan after nearly being burnt into a crisp by Bertholdt. Mikasa would respect Inaho as a fighter and would know how to approach him, to make him open up a little. 1. Izuku's optimism in the face of adversity would help Mikasa. If there's anyone who understands discrimination, it's Izuku Midoriya. Born quirkless in the hero-oriented society of my hero academia. He is seen as useless and weak. Even so, he never gives up and clings to his dream to become a hero. Izuku has suffered a great deal, but that just makes his optimism more inspiring. 
he would be able to give Mikasa hope for the future, even when her heavy burdens threatened to drag her down.